That's all coming up on tonight's National Nightly News. There's something really compelling about Not For Broadcast. It takes the interactivity of an early Five Nights at Freddy's game without all of the horror and jump scares and combines it with this Orwellian setting. Uh, Let's just say I think there's no coincidence that the game starts in 1984. But it is the branching storylines that really remind me of the excitement and readability of those choose your own adventure books I used to read when I was a kid. You play as the wonderfully ambiguously gendered Alex Winston, a janitor who has been made studio director for the National Nightly News as their predecessor flees the country on the night of an unexpected win for the advance party in the national elections. Advance immediately start implementing radical reforms such as wealth redistribution, which takes the money from the historically rich and redistributes it across the nation's poorer homes. As time continues, advance become more authoritarian in their governance, and it's down to you to decide whether to live ed- advance into a positive light or side with a new resistance group, Disrupt, which surfaces not too long in the game. With the initial help of Dave, your predecessor, who provides instruction via speakerphone and appears to be having a whale of a time wherever he has ended up, you learn the basics of what counts as good TV and helps increase your audience rates. At the end of each episode, you're presented with a score for that level, confirmation of your pay and either how broke or wealthy you currently are, how advanced and later disrupt are generally regarded by the general public and how Channel One currently feels about you. In between broadcasts, you are introduced to your family via text sequences and also make choices along the way that make huge impact and change later on in the story, even though you might not realise it at the time. While Not For Broadcast covers some serious issues that sometimes strike a little too close to home, the brilliant thing about it is that it balances drama and comedy so well. Personal highlights are the Czech Will Prostate ad, which is to be seen to be understood, and the Mr Bear song, which is currently fighting We Don't Talk About Bruno for my most recent earworm. Where it does struggle sometimes is the gaps between interactions, especially in the third act, which in places just feel a little rushed. I think at one point the narrative skips forwards a full year, which is a little jarring as for the most part you're used to skipping months. What not for broadcast lacks in pacing, it does make up for in a fantastic finale with an excellent payoff, which calls into question all of the decisions that you've made up to this point. However, this was just from one playthrough. Not for broadcast reliably informed me on completion that I had unlocked one of 14 epilogues to the game. So I instantly started playing through again and I've already noticed that the slightest changes have resulted in drastic changes to some of the characters I'd gotten to know the first time round. In short, Not For Broadcast is a fantastic game and with easy to pick up controls and a fantastic storyline is not something that you would want to miss out on. 